Hey, what's going on, guys? Before you guys watch this amazing video, I just want to do a shout out to my ass. I just want to say sorry to my ass for the past, you know, few years. I've just been sitting on it and playing RuneScape and, you know, gym here and there. No, but for real, guys, I'm going to put a link in the description to a video I'm going to have on Unlisted. It's kind of an old video. It's not old video. I, I, I want to upload like every other day, but I just kept forgetting to. And uh, now it's kind of too old to actually upload it. So, if, you know, so people are going to rage. I mean, oh, this is old. What the hell is this? So I'm going to put a 14 minute, believe, I, I believe it's 14 minute long video in the description. It'll just be unlisted. So if you guys want to go look at it, you can. Um, I get a fire cape in it. I do some skilling, fire cape commentary, um, and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you don't want to click the link, then uh, just watch this video. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys next clip. I wonder if we can get a thousand likes on this bitch. Can we do that? Oh, yeah. Road to 100 fire capes. You guys thought I was joking when I said that shit? Oh, no, I was not joking. I'm actually going to go for 100 fucking fire capes on old school. I'm trying a different setup. I'm just bringing two super sets, basically. Well, just without the defense, I guess I can say. Um, two pure super sets. Super set pure. How do you call that? It's pure super set. Is that it? I don't know. Now, I'm going to say I really badly just want to make a straw poll to see who here would be okay with, if, uh, let's just say, for Jad to ever come to 07 for a Slayer task. And if you do get it for a task, you don't want to do it. Obviously, you'll have the option to say no thank you. He just gives you a regular task that he would have normally given you. And if he, you know, if you do accept it, you can go, go do Jad, get like 30k Slayer, 35k Slayer um, throughout all the waves and Jad included. So it's, it's basically actually efficient to do it. Actually, it would, it would be very efficient to do Jad, because I think Slayer on average is like 20k an hour nowadays, 25k maybe. You can get 35k at least in an hour. I think I think Jad can take less than an hour. Now, one thing I did forget to do is I actually do have a Crystal Bow now. I kind of forgot about that, but I'm not going to restart now. Maybe uh, tomorrow I'll do another Fire Cape and I'll bring my Crystal Bow. But yes, I do now have a Crystal Bow. I did the uh, the Quest Regicide and the, uh, the Quest right after it to get the uh, 180 Quest points now and the Crystal Bow. I mostly got that bow just to do... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, DKs whenever I do go. Went with a friend a little while ago. It's, it's honestly quite a bit of fun going to DKs. Um, I have a video where I record like 13 minutes of doing DKs. Like I basically soloed the uh, the tri-bird ones. Or no, the duo, the, what do you, not tri-bird. Duo bird? Yeah, it's called that hybrid, I guess you can call it, right? The, the range and melee one, that one right there. And yeah, I spent about like 130k on bolts, like the diamond bolts I brought. I probably should have brought like mithril bolts, but um, I didn't really know exactly how it was going to do, so I just brought Diamond, and I, uh, I, wasted, I wasted a lot of money on those bolts. But yes, if I do remember, I'm going to put a straw poll in the link in the description. That is me. That's Alcan saying, yes, I'm going to put that in there. Um, this is the only time I'm saying it, though. It is the year 2013. It is, it's just about to finish. October is just about to finish. Someone told me in my video, and I actually thought about this myself as well, that anytime I ask for someone to, you know, click the description, uh, the link in there, and it's like a whatever type of thing it is. Um, basically, tell say what day it is so people know. But you can still kind of edit that out and make it so it looks like it's today. But anyway, I think I should have brought energy potions or sweet purple sweets or oh shit, this one I might just want to do this. No, oh, no, don't start ddosing now. I swear to God. Okay, I'm just gonna click log out just in case. Come on. <sighs> No way, man. Come on, I clicked log out. I totally clicked log out. Come on. Fuck me in the ass. Huh. Huh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. 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 What are the odds that would teleport? It would spawn right in front of me. What the hell is that? No. Fuck me in the ass. Oh shit. He's going to melee me now. Oh my god. Fuck this world. Fuck this world. <sighs> Dude. You can't do shit, man. They need to fix this fucking shit. This is so pathetic. Oh my god. <laughs> this is much safer. Oh shit. EOC DC. Oh shit. Please don't DC. Please don't DC. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Please just stay still for a little bit. I wonder if they updated uh, Fight Caves where you don't have to click the logout button anymore. I don't think you should ever have to click the logout button. And if you log out during Fight Caves, you should not log back out. You should not log in back outside. Now, maybe if you're dead, then okay, I understand. It still sucks you died during a lag and shit. Like, I almost died, right? Um, but, if, I mean, you shouldn't have to click the logout button. It should just automatically save for times like this. So anyways, guys, I'm going to ask you guys, what is your guys' RuneScape goals? I don't really ask this too often, but aside from possibly doing stats, I want to know what you guys' like, 
uh, item, you know, uh, I guess goal is dream. I don't really know what to call it. I still do want to make one bill from God Wars Dungeon. I just don't, I just, I don't enjoy it when I go there and I get, you know, I leg out and, I, and then I find myself in Valley or I find myself dead struggling to get back to, you know, my original spot. I mean, I just don't enjoy that. So, I mean, for right now, I just don't want a God Wars Dungeon. I know I'm missing out on a lot of money I could be making. Like, I mean, the first week I made like around 180 mil plus. Um, I just did nonstop armor and all with the vandals once, like I said, got tacits and uh, chest plate. That's obviously when the prices were a little bit higher than they are right now. Oh, 39 heal. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I just healed a 39. That is fucking sexy. I have hit a 42 before with my, uh, my full guttons. I think that's because of the D-boots. Uh, I think my max hit before was 41. I'm not too sure. Who even needs a fucking safe spot? These bitches are nothing. Watch it hit a 20 on me. There we go. Look at that shit. This is why I love doing fight caves now, because I don't have to run away from those things. I can just sit there and tank it with my DFS and my fucking like max melee defense. And I just come over here and the wave's already done. Well, here we are, guys. Wave before Jad. Lego gains. Oh, by the way, I have done Jad uh, ever since this thing up here for Orion has updated. I did, uh, <laughs> I did it for a friend. <laughs> and uh, yes, Jad, Jad does show his HP up there in the top left corner. It will show Jad's HP, which is pretty interesting. Um, I always hate getting closer and closer to Jad just to see the HP, even though it doesn't really benefit you in any way. It's just nice to see the HP of the monster you're attacking, just like Armada Boss, right? When I'm at Armada Boss, that bitch pushes me to the fucking corner of the room. I fucking hate it. I can't see the thing's HP. It just kind of gets annoying. Um, so this thing kind of helps with that. But um, yeah, it doesn't really benefit you in any way. I'm not too sure if it works in PvP. I guess maybe it does. Um, I assume it probably would, but I believe when it's, P when it's another person, it it's kind of off by a little bit, so it's not the actual number. Um, it's just close to it, I believe. But anyways, let's do this Jad time. Restore long range. I think you're supposed to just range play right away. Auto tights on. Please show up around there. Oh god. Oh god, it's not gonna. Oh god. Come on. Come on. No, where is it? Oh, oh shit, where is that? Where is that? Oh my god. Oh, 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 we're so lucky. Woo! Okay, thank you, bitch. Okay. How are you? Should I melee? I've never melee Jad once in my life. If you guys want to know the truth, that shit up. I don't need that shit once you see it. That's uh, that's two bad spawns in a row. I actually lost a clip of me doing it for my friend. Um, it didn't really work whenever I put it in the camp. Wow, it's already half HP almost. What? 97 range OP in this bitch. Who needs 99? Let's see. Come on, man. That's gonna be a mage. Wow, it's almost. Wow, the first thing's touching it now, and it's literally almost dead. That is crazy. What the fuck? That was a really fast jet. Is this mage? Yeah, okay, it's mage. This over here, and this one, and that's gonna be mage again. There we go. Okay, we're good. This is way too simple. That's gonna be range. Now nah, I can move over here. I could just kill those things off with like my whip and my DFS. It would be pretty easy. Okay, I better not miss that one. Okay, good job, good job. And now we just sit here and chill for about 80 more HP. This is nothing. I could take a shit while doing this, man. This, this feels like um, EOC Jad almost, where you can like almost AFK it and like Ganondermic armor and shit. Yeah, look at this shit, yo. 100 people, at, well, probably 1,000 people a day trying to do Jad and they always die. And there's Alkin over here just bossing it up with his max account, basically. But anyways, there's an easy, that was a really easy Jad. I think I, I think that was a few minutes. Now, was that even a minute? I don't even know. Now we're just not hitting the last bit. Okay. If I just had Vengeance right now, that'd work. And now it's just... Oh, we're not going to hit now. There we go. Woohoo! Dance, dance, dance. Do, 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 do. And there it is. I'm not too sure exactly what fire cape. This is number four, I believe. Yeah, there it is. I took the fire cape off my back. So I'm at four fire capes now in total, which is pretty sweet. Four out of 100. I might put these closer to up here. They're more of an achievement. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyways, I have been doing a lot of farm runs lately as well. Let me just show you guys my Snapdragon seeds. There they are. 984. I farmed every single one of those except for like probably like 100 or something like that. Actually, probably like almost every single one. I think I had about 300, no, about 280 Snapdragon seeds. I made a lot of money from doing that, I think. But it takes a little while to normally buy these. Uh, sometimes I just buy them on a live stream and I'm able to get quite a bit sometimes. Uh, but other times I just try to buy it off players and it takes a little while. Now, I think the next thing I might focus on is definitely getting... Um, uh, Dream Mentor quest completed. I, uh, I open up the quest guide just to see what it is. It's quite quick. I said I get the little herb thingy first from the um, Edgar's Ruse quest thingy. Um, but yeah, I want to be able to start using fertilized soil for whenever I do it because it's a lot cheaper. If you see right there, it costs like maybe like 800 GP, 600 GP. 
One super compost is like 1.5K to like 1.8K, sometimes like 1.3K, I don't really know. Um, but plus it also saves me some space, so I don't really need to bring four super compost each time. It's a little bit of time save, and I guess you get magic experience too. It's nice to have. Doing farm runs on Lunars is really nice. I wonder how people would feel if they were to bring back uh, Tastis. I know I know we have Karimj right here. Um, it's hardly even worth doing it though, because like most people used to do this to get NPC contact. Um, so you could just literally just teleport there, but NPC contact basically replaced it. Um, I think way back in the day, like I believe we always had NPC contact spell way back in the day. I just think nobody knew about using it to do Slayer. I'm not too sure. I'm not exactly sure when this spell came out and when we could actually contact the Slayer Masters, unless they came out all at the same day. But back in the day when it was actually around 2006, 2007, uh, and I was actually doing a lot of Slayer back then as well, um, I, everyone had Karimja gloves. The, the thing was, get Karimja gloves and then you're good to go for Slayer. If you don't have them, I never taken the boat, the, the little, uh, little uh, what do you call it, the wagon thing from uh, going to Kami and then taking it to, to Yandel, or not Yandel, um, you know what it's called, Shiloh, there we go. But yeah, I'm not too sure when this spell came out. I mean, I guess it must have been before 2007 or a little bit before it because, it, you know, it came out with the game as well. So, um, yeah, kind of interesting. Hey, it's going to probably end the video here, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys are enjoying RuneScape and having all kinds of gains. And as always, make sure you don't risk more than you want to risk because the servers are still laggy, as you guys saw during this video. I'm really not too sure how long they're going to be laggy for. I thought I was going to die. I, I think I thought I was going to die in between those fight caves. I'm kind of glad. I, I, I actually hop worlds if you guys want a little tip. Normally when you DC the first world, it probably means that there's someone at a boss with like Armadillo or Bandos and the DDoS is, are trying to get it. So that world is going to stay offline for a long time because they're trying to DC that for at least four minutes and then get the shit. Um, so I basically just hop world that I didn't like a single time after. So it's kind of obvious it is uh, it is DDoS. I mean the world, the same world does not keep disconnecting after like you keep trying to log in. Uh, it's just a DDoS just keeping you offline so you can't run back to uh, collect up your Armadillo or your Bandos. Um, so just basically, if you're not at doing God Wars and you don't have to worry about getting your shit back, just hop worlds and you should normally be good for, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes, I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video with more games.